it's not a purely political issue, but it is an issue of candor. We discussed this in a previous interview in 2018, and I'm just going to play the clip of what was said then. You've had one huge distraction through all of this period, which is the position of Alex Salmond. You know him well, you keep your ear to the ground. Had you heard any stories about him before it broke in the press? Uh, of this nature, absolutely not. Uh, until, uh, well, I've said previously, Alex Salmond informed me about these uh, complaints in April. That was the first I had known. Was that true? I, I stand by what I said back then, and this will the, be the first you knew the, was in uh, April. inquiry underway with the Scottish Parliament. Well, you say uh, the first you knew was in April. Around, uh, you say the, the first you knew I was in April, but you've I knew I'm, when. I'm, I'm sorry, yeah. but you've given written submission sorry. to the inquiry mm -hmm. saying that you knew in November 2017. You told me you knew in April, six months no, later. There is a big gap between what you said to the inquiry you're... and what you said to my viewers. Mm -hmm. With the greatest of respect, Andrew, you're conflating two issues. When I spoke to you then, I was speaking about the issues that had been raised under the Scottish Government uh, processes. I've set out written evidence on that, and I will give oral evidence to the inquiry. Uh, what I've also set out in that written evidence is that Sky News, uh, back in November the previous year, had raised a, a, a query um, about uh, allegations about Alex Salmon. They never at that time ran that story, and that's what, I was, uh, what I've set out in the written evidence uh, that I was aware of back then. So you're conflating two separate mm. issues. But well, these are issues that I will set out, uh, have already set out to the Scottish Government inquiry, and will do that when I get the opportunity to speak to them in person. I asked you just what you knew about Alex Salmond at that time. I didn't narrow it down at that point. It seems to me that there is a gap between presentation, very, very good presentation, and the reality when it comes to coronavirus data, when it comes to education, when it comes to the Alex Salmond issue. There is a gap between how you present yourself very, very effectively and what's really been going on in Scotland. Well, I don't accept that. And, but ultimately, Andrew, the judge of that will not be me. And with the greatest of respect to you, the judge of that will not be you. The judge of that will be the people of Scotland. And I don't take that judgment for granted. Um, I work hard every day uh, to make sure that the, the substance of what the Scottish Government is delivering is as it should be. We're not perfect. We're not infallible. We get things wrong. We've got things wrong in coronavirus. But I uh, don't shy away from that. Uh, right. And I'm being pretty uh, clear with the Scottish people about the challenges we face, and I will continue to be so, and I will put uh, myself, my government and my record uh, before the people of Scotland next May, and it will be their decision uh, as to whether they re-elect the SNP, as I hope uh, they will, uh, or not. Uh, and I'm perfectly comfortable uh, with that scrutiny All and right. that judgment. 